Have you watched Gantz colon zero? If not, and you have a Netflix account, and is there anyone who doesn't at this point, go watch it, because it is a spectacle worth at least a single watch. Gantz Zero is, honestly, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's a CGI anime movie that is just completely and utterly baffling in its absurdity. I believe it's an adaptation of some sort of manga, but that's about the extent of my knowledge on the source material. But you know what? I didn't care about that, because this movie was a trip. A slightly disturbing, off-putting trip, but one that just encompasses everything I love about Japanese media. After a brief action scene where a bunch of super high-tech people fight a monster and one of them dies super hard, Get Zero introduces us to Mr. Protagonist, who I refuse to believe is in high school, go fuck yourself, Japan, number 376, otherwise known as Kato, who one day, which just so happens to be his little brother's birthday, gets his insides turned into outsides on the subway by some maniac wielding not just one, but two knives. He then seemingly wakes up with a bunch of people who are very badly trying to cover up some sort of Tron-esque outfits, also Chico Physics, along with some other dude who's only there to literally die, and is then told that this ball called Gantz, roll credits, has resurrected him in order to fight monsters with high-tech gear. And then they are teleported to a city in order to fight off a horde of monsters assisted by a group of sociopathic nut jobs who have been at this much longer than they have been. There is then some attempts at character building, a what at first appears to be some sort of romance subplot, except it just doesn't go anywhere once started, and a lot of characters die except this is almost completely undercut by the fact that if they get enough points from killing monsters, they can choose to resurrect a dead teammate. Guess who earns enough points to do so by the end of the movie? Also guess who is the one to bite it and get resurrected? Is it the balding salary man? The soft-spoken actress lady, the shitty gamer teenager, or the girl from another team who is the character with the second high largest amount of screen time and the only one to get any quote-unquote characterization who also makes the main character promise not to die. Gee, I wonder which one of these is going to die. But you know what? The plot doesn't matter, because this is a movie that bleeds rule of cool. The characters are dressed in suits that would look right at home in Tron, the guns are something out of a video game, pistols that explode heads with invisible blasts, guns that fire precision orbital lasers, and some that just send down massive shockwaves that just pulp whatever is in their path. Also, there's a giant fuck mothering mech in order to fight what is essentially a kaiju, because why not? Honestly, this movie shows little to no restraint. As for the fights themselves, they are very entertaining, with gratuitous use of slow motion and gore, along with the monstrous cast of antagonists, all of which are seemingly lifted or inspired by Japanese myths, which, if you know anything about, are quite bizarre. From giant rolling heads, an aforementioned kaiju, a red-skinned angel-winged demon, to an old weird little man who gets cut into pieces, who each then becomes their own little man, who then fuse together into a giant naked lady made out of smaller naked ladies, to some sort of minotaur thing, to a buffed up bodybuilding old man, to an the edgiest spike demon thing this side of an unreadable metal band logo. Not to say that it's without its flaws, the story is barely there, the fights are more style over substance, and the aforementioned kaiju battle wouldn't look out of place in the newest non-Shin Godzilla movie from how little of it is actually shown. But despite these flaws, this movie is a treat. A weird, nonsensical holy shit that that old man just turned into a naked lady made out of other naked ladies treat. If you have enough time to spend 90 minutes or so on a movie, then this movie is well worth it. So go forth and watch Gantz Zero.